In this experiment, we're going to do 18.3 from All About Chemistry O-Level Practical Workbook. We're testing for anions. The first anion we're going to test is carbonate. And as we all know, carbonates react with any acid. So we will add dilute acid here and we will capture the gas produced and transfer it to our lime water. Okay, and you can see that the lime water now turns milky. Now we're going to test for the presence of sulfate ion. The main reagent for this test would be barium nitrate because barium and sulfate ions react to give a white precipitate of barium sulfate. However, carbonate also reacts with barium ion to give you white precipitate. Uh, let's see here. I add aqueous barium nitrate into carbonate and it gives white precipitate and if I add the same thing to sulfate also we will get white precipitate now to be able to distinguish between carbonate and sulfate we need to add an extra step which is the addition of nitric acid to make sure there is no carbonate in our solution, we add nitric acid to eliminate any carbonate. So whatever ion remains will not contain carbonates because carbonates react with acid to give carbon dioxide. And then after that, we add barium nitrate. So any white precipitate form after the addition of acid, we will know it comes from sulfate ion. The next test is to test for the presence of halides, chloride, bromide, and iodide. There are two reagents to use, um, and these are nitric acid to get rid of any carbonates, and silver nitrate. So let's first add nitric acid into each of our sample. And this make sure, uh, make sure that there are no carbonate ions remaining. And Next addition is silver nitrate. Let's put a few drops of it. So you can see the color difference. White precipitate of silver chloride. Cream precipitate of silver bromide and yellow precipitate for silver iodide. You can see that there is actually very very slight difference between silver bromide and silver iodide. But silver iodide is more yellow and silver bromide is more cream. So let me just add more silver nitrate into these two just to see if they make any difference very close color next ion is nitrate and we're going to use sodium hydroxide and aluminum foil when we heat up nitrate in the presence of aluminum foil and sodium hydroxide it will create ammonia so let's add some sodium hydroxide in here and then we will drop in the aluminum foil you can just 
shape it small enough that it can go through the plastic there, go into the plastic. Okay. Now we heat this gently. And remember, we need damp red litmus paper to test for ammonia gas. So um, prepare that beforehand. We will gently heat this mixture until we see bubbles produced. Okay, if you can see here, the bubbles fizzing. And we put our damp red litmus at the mouth of the test tube. You can see that the red litmus has turned blue due to the presence of ammonia gas. So that indicates that this solution contains nitrate ion. The next test we're going to do is the test for sulfur dioxide gas. And we can produce sulfur dioxide gas by reacting a sulfite salt with hydrochloric acid. So in this experiment, I'm using sodium sulfide. Now, to test for sodium sulfide, we need acidified potassium manganese. You can see that the um, purple color of manganate 7 now has been decolorized. So purple to colorless. 